Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I are playing the Delta Green role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is Volume of Secret Faces. It was written by Dennis Detweiler, and it's part of the Impossible Landscapes. It's available from Art Dream Publishing. Our handler is Nathan Decker, and this is Episode 6. Our recap will be given by Morgan Llewellyn as his character, Agent Dante. So without any further delay, let's continue our journey into the darkness. Morgan? All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. And one man, many parts. But how does it end? Ah, yes, I remember. And when the time comes, exit stage vent. Shakespeare, who does not live here with us in Dorchester House, wrote that. Shakespeare, who is part of that life Dr. Friend labels the dream delusion. I have, of course, always lived at the Dorchester House. And as his name implies, Dr. Friend is a friend. Though, sometimes I wonder if he is a good friend. He's not like Mr. Wilde. Mr. Wilde is my best and perhaps only true friend. There are other people here who live at the house from the dream. <laughs> We've always lived here together. But are they my friends? I think not. I do, however, recall a dream I had wherein I helped to bring these others to Dorchester House. Mr. Wilde, of course, asked me to bring them here. As it turns out, I did not need to do much. Good night, sweet dent. Sleep creeps and creeps until it takes hold. Asleep? Awake? What difference does it make? There's no real difference between them. Both are equally flooded with dreams. Thus, Diana and Donnelly went into the lion's den. But lo, the Lord did not stretch forth his hand to spare Daniel this time. Daniel. Decel. Cecil? Cecil? Vega? Vesel? Names with the names, a play within a play. The dream delusion. Dust got caught in the lion's needle jaws. Diana rode her chariot into the waiting maw. And Donnelly, well, Donnelly went the way of Dent. Syringes are quick things, and sleep is such a heavy, heavy burden to bear. But why do they stray into such a place? Perhaps to meet that which proves to them that they are merely actors. The machine can spit out neat details about their parts, their lines, their places in the weaving plot lines. The parts they play at home, the parts they play as part of Delta Green. Dictation from the machine, glimpses in the divine scripts. Deus ex machina, the living God. I brought the others to the truth. And yet they wretch, trying to reject the bitter drink. I removed the scales from their eyes, allowed them to see and they thanked me with a baseball bat to the brain. They act like pitiful children, lashing out when I only give them knowledge. Plato's cave, shadows on walls, shadows within the walls, shadows within the places we know, shadows between them. Mr. Wilde knows my pain, the pain of trying to labor among the blind, the blind who do not wish to see, yet they must. Have they found the yellow sign? The Imperial Dynasty is at hand. But, but perhaps I'll go join Nance at the play. I miss slipping. I fear I'm running late. A song before travel, it sounds so lovely. <laughs> Maybe Hilda will be there. She'll come with us and we can all play the part of a family again. Tis no easy feat to continually play the father of a corpse. Excellent. And 
I want to start today with the three that are not in therapy in the group at the moment, holding a paper mask. Donley, Dent, and Diana, you are walking through these hallways littered with orderlies and patients at odd intervals, doors open here, there, showing rooms that don't quite match what you remembered them being. Sometimes there's too many windows, sometimes a, a strange picture on the wall. And what are you three doing? How are we getting out of here? Yeah, well, <laughs> unnatural problems call for unnatural solutions. We got to summon this demon to get out of here. <laughs> yes, it sounds about, about right. They helped us before. We have enough of the parts. One of Dante's bits. blood? Oh, I mean, I think yeah. I soaked up well, the I think we towel. Did, yeah, I've got the blood. <clears throat> that, that was it's still damp. Yeah, this shirt filled with blood. Do you know anywhere <laughs> hidden that we can draw this circle? I'll just look in. There's probably a room next to us, right? Just throw it open. The I mean, door open. Given like how careless the Orleys are when you uh, hit yeah, uh, don't... Agent Dante, don't they don't seem to care? So. Uh, do a luck roll, Donley, as you knock open this door. It is a twelve. Okay, it clatters open, and you see that you indeed have found an empty room. It looks to be a patient's room. There's the the bed. It could even be yours. Although you're pretty sure your room is on a different level. Pretty sure. I'm not going to think about it much. I just start pushing things to the side, clean out a clean off a space. Um what else we need for this? Um we're going to have a we're going to need to have a substitute for a sword. So if you could get like a chair leg, we can whittle down to resemble a sword. That would help us complete this ritual. I'm going to start drawing the sign of Bathin right in the center of the room in uh, Dante's blood. Okay. I'm just going to hold up the bat. Is this going to be enough for a sword? I mean, it's dripping that, that blood. Is, that's <laughs> close enough. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think, Agent, then? Yes, that could work. It's going to have to. I don't see anything else and say that you're making substitutions so <laughs> that makes sense to me that's yeah. close right yeah what else is that all we need uh is there anything else wax figures scrolls normally you'd have correct you'd have vessels for divination <laughs> and conjuration wax figures scrolls written in blood a ring a ceremonial staff special clothing a garland, and careful timing according to the uh, arcane rules of astrology. <laughs> if, we have could, a... if there's paperwork, we could figure make out vessels. the scrolls. You could make yeah. a ring yeah. out of a piece of pipe or a spring. The staff, we have your bat. So there is... Is the staff in addition to the sword? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it says sword and vessels. Then we'll get a broom handle. <laughs> Special oh. clothing we can craft ourselves. A oh. garland. Garland. Um wax figures. Is there are there um toilets? You know, you don't remember seeing one. Wait a minute, boy, it'd be nice to have a toilet close by. Can I open up another door? <laughs> go out into the hallway and start. To <laughs> go look. into the hallway and search for a toilet. It's got to be toilets, right? Um, roll luck. No, that was an eighty-two. <laughs> you start looking down these doors, and it's patient, 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 and then you hear this thudding noise from down the hallway, and you see Mister Ed walk around the corner his head seems to scrape the ceiling and he's backed up with a couple orderlies with uh a uh sort of a stun you know the little stun stabby things uh whose name is escaping me uh, and yeah I'm gonna start backing up <laughs> this to you 
and starts to come for you. Those inside the room can hear this like thud, 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 thud. Agent Donnelly, what are you doing? I am taking off back to the room. Okay. Do a uh, dexterity check to see if you can get in fast enough. No, it doesn't look like I'm going to succeed on that one. All right. Dint, Diana, you see Donnelly makes it partway through the door and this hand just kind of grabs the back of his shirt and pulls him back into the hallway. Give me back my bat, inmate. Ah, oh, shit. Um, I'll hand him back his bat. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I, it, it did the trick. And he brings it down on your head. <laughs> And I'm not going to roll for damage, but there is a thud, thud. The two inside, go ahead and roll sanity. What about if you're adapted to violence? Uh, if you're adapted to violence, just roll it. Uh, it. Actually, you don't roll it. It'd be a one. Okay. 92. I failed. Uh, It's going to be f- uh, D4. Okay. As you oh, see. Oh, that's four. Yeah, you're pretty I'm sure. Bond. Yeah, you're pretty sure Don Lee's still breathing, okay. but Mister Ed, you hear him in the hall talking to the other two. We'll put him in the starfish. That'll teach him. All right, I reduced my sand loss by two. Uh, no amount of therapy is going to fix that. <laughs> so we just heard that I'm staying put like I'm not going to compromise this get out of here Yeah. <laughs> I think that would have been the last thing I tried to uh, yell out to you I like that yeah you're kind of out of here yeah <laughs> so wax figures and whatnot I was thinking if they have some type of art room you know they have maybe finger paints or something they especially in prisons they will have some type of some type of recreational um rooms where they do you know they train them to to do like job uh, some some jobs in carpentry or whatnot of course with close supervision with diana do you think it's like the night floors in the McAllister, where if you imagine something through a door you'll get it I am thinking just that. So what we need is, uh, let's see here. Just looking through the list so I don't miss it. Magic sword, vessels, wax, figures, scrolls. Would it be too far-fetched to see if there's an occult room? <laughs> just see that they're just conveniently placed into one room. Of course, doesn't belong to anyone here in the... Uh, anyone here, any of the patients, I'm not sure. That'd be, that'd be too much, maybe. But we're missing our wax figures and special clothing? What do you think? What do we so need? Most? I think that we just need to go out and scavenge. I'm going to use Dante's blood as a red crumb trail to get back to this room. I'll just mark the walls. Oh. Uh, I'll just look for any... uh, I'll try to imagine a room where they had inmates to do these various activities like carpentry or whatnot. Maybe some tools. Something that could fashion fashion things into a sword, perhaps. And they took Donnelly away, right? Yes. You can, in fact, much like you were saying, leaving a breadcrumb trail, you can see his breadcrumb trail leading down the hallway okay i will note down where which direction he went uh in my head because i might have to bust him out later uh, he'll, he'll be fine you think so i, I think so I, I mean seeing that how if we're gonna go with that logic this is this is not what it seems we have to think outside of i don't know 
reality as it were. <laughs> Some type of moon logic that's going on. So. You think, uh, so just to take inventory, Dante's lost cause. Well, what do you think about Dust? He didn't come with us. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm thinking we'll just let him be. He, if anything, he's maybe as clueless as we are. And uh, maybe not as clueless, but he's taking a different approach. Okay. He's just closest okay. to hostile at the moment. Then I'm just going to continue and search this okay. place. Uh, say maybe meet back in an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I look at my imaginary watch. Sure, <laughs> an hour. <laughs> an hour. An hour. All right. Okay. And the two of you are splitting up and heading down these hallways uh, in different directions. It will jump back to the people getting help for their delusions. Agent Dustin, Agent Dante, Dr. Friend has given you and the eight other people in the fold-out chairs in the center of this gymnasium, plain white masks to put on. And he goes, All right. Is everyone ready for group today? Well, yes, Dr. Friend. Excellent. Excellent. I love the enthusiasm. Great. Um, Go ahead and put on your masks, and I will commence the questions. There's... there's nothing unusual about the mask is there uh it's a paper mache mask it's got a little silver kind of rubbery sort of behind the head sort of thing but no magical symbols it's, it's the it. same no. mask it's the same mask we always use for group don't act like you've um, never seen it before because i ain't buying any of this but i'll i'll I, if it looks like it's just a paper mache with no e- dark magical symbols or anything i'll i'll slip it on Mm-hmm. And it feel it feels really quite snug and like a second skin as it fits over your face. Okay. And you have just those two eye slits that you watch Dr. Friend and he takes another chair, drags it to the middle of the circle. Uh, and he begins to ask questions to people around the group and not any order that you can make sense of simple things like do your past failures still worry you someone responds Who, who's the most exceptional person in your life somebody talks about their parent and he turns to agent dust uh, 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 bob why don't you describe a time where you were certain that the world was not real Time when I was certain the world was not real. Well, I'd say when I dream, I wake up and I'm sure that what I've dreamed isn't real. Is that what you mean? And he starts to lean forward. And as he does, you and to your eyes only you are transported out of this gymnasium with the chairs and you are sitting on your small fold-out chair in this large european royal court with thick red carpet banners hanging from the wall lanterns strewn about they are emblazoned with the yellow sign and dr friend is no longer on a fold-out chair a few feet from you. He is sitting next to a throne, an empty throne. He's sitting next to it, and he speaks differently. Yes, uh, a dream, you say. Tell me more about your dreams. Question. When I came into this place... Did my yellow blocking glasses fall out or they did not, no. So I've now I'm now in here with the yellow sign and I'm trying not to look directly at it. 
but I've probably already seen it a couple of times. I, uh, I don't understand the question. What do you dream? Oh, I've had all kinds of interesting dreams. Uh, do you dream of a seal? Do I dream of a seal? Do you dream of the lake? Have you seen how to get there? Oh, I've, I've seen a lake in my dreams, but it's just a lake. You would know this lake if you saw it. The clouds. Have you seen the clouds? The clouds? I've seen clouds, but not <sighs> the clouds. And he, he kind of gestures impatiently, and you're back in the cafeteria. And roll a, a sanity check. Is he kind of... 93. I think that's a pass. Let's see. <laughs> that it's, oh, wow. <laughs> it's only one, oddly. And he sits back, and this time he looks kind of frustrated and... ah. Uh, uh, <sighs> Let's go on to the next person, huh? Uh, and he asks a couple round, and he finally gets to Agent Dante. Uh, Liam, uh, we'll we'll finish you with you for the night. Uh, have you heard that the last king is come? Well, of course. And. Who do you think that is? And again, you oh. have this sensation of mm -hmm. being in this larger throne room as he leans forward to talk to you. Well, it's it's he. It's the heir to the to 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 the to the imperial dynasty of of, of America. He is come. Yes, yes. But who? Is he? We we must wait for him. We've been waiting for him. He will send. He will send forth the yellow sign. Damn it, Barnes! Who is he? Doctor Friend, you know we all must be patient. We've all been waiting. And he stands up. He scatters the chair behind him. He seems much taller now and in thick robes he kind of walks this long distance to you and grabs you by the lapels tell me who he is who wrote the play the author of course who else ah uh. And just like that, he's back in this friendly, small man with a little goatee. Seems almost funny. Ah, the author. Of course, why did I not think of the author? Yes, and we all know who that is, don't we? <laughs> uh, group is adjourned. Now, Most of my time. Did I hear that conversation? You did. It didn't sound so intense. Angry. It just, it's just, yeah, it just yeah. sounded like Dr. Friend just asking. Okay, so now I have to ask another question. Is it, uh, is it the actual author of... Uh, is it uh, Blake? Who is this Blake? I do not know. Are you, no. <laughs> who are you talking? What are you talking about? Dust. Chambers. Never heard of him. Yeah. Chambers. Robert W. Robert Chambers. <laughs> Robert W. Chambers. Yeah. The romance <laughs> the, the famous romance writer. Does does he exist in our universe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you might you maybe say like that, and he just laughs. No, it's the Asa. It's a true one. I always uh. get here with you. You don't know who the author is, but that's all you say. Well, no matter, we will try again later, won't we? Again and again. 
Yes, uh, of course, the next group, Dr. Friend. You seem very tired. Are you okay? I am not okay. I'm oh, I'm very... sorry to hear that, Dr. Friend. That makes there, me sad. There's almost a sneer for just a moment on his face. And it passes quickly. Go about your day, I... I think there's someone in the cotton candy room for me to attend to. You make candy room. Put the masks back in the box. I will collect them later. You should go back to your rooms. Don't tarry too long. Of course, Dr. Friend. Mm. Don't push yourself too hard. You work very hard for all of us, and we just hate it. You know, you burned yourself out. We need you, Dr. Friend. Do not worry, Mr. Barnes. You... You are my world, and I will do everything to take care of you. And I'm sure you will do everything you can to help me find my way. Yes? Good. Of course, Dr. Friend. That's what friends do. Yes. And we are friends. And he kind of stumbles out of the room. He does seem tired somehow that's the put my mask back in the box yep take a little box box. yeah looks like there's uh some other masks and little silvery robes there well shall we go find mr wild i'm not sure i want to talk to mr wild (laughs) Funny guy. Um, I don't want to talk to Wild. <laughs> Liam, um, were you were you mentally transported somewhere when you put on the mask? When Doctor Friend? That's, a, that's an odd qualifier. Mentally, where did you go somewhere else? Well, Big throne room. Yeah. That's where you go with Dr. Friend. Why don't you... Dust. You dust. seem to know a dust. lot more than I do, and I don't... And that's what worries me, Dust. How many times does this have to happen? We've always been here, Dust. Always. Well, perhaps never that's just the role else. that I was written to play. So that's just true. I'm the Polonius in your Shakespearean play. Ah, Polonius, to thine own, to thine own self, always be true. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. And I'm, we, I'm just course, going to. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's best, it's best to not to walking. stand behind curtains. <laughs> no, but does Bob, 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 Bob. No, Bob, Bob. Look, you got. You have to talk to Mister Wild. Look, he doesn't. He doesn't believe in you, Bob. You know, you gotta. You gotta prove to him that you can do the job. Doctor Friend said we need to go to our rooms. Oh. Dr. Friend says a lot of things, but it's best to listen to Mr. Wild first and foremost. Mr. Wild said to come find him after group. All right. I'll come along. Um, yeah. That's the spirit. And besides, the, uh, the rooms go that way goes past the cotton candy room, and if there's somebody in there, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be like by the cotton candy room. Why? Well, what's in the cotton candy room? And that's where we'll cut <laughs> to Agent Donnelly as you regain consciousness, not without a great deal of pain. Uh, yeah. You can feel swelling 
over one entire half of your face at this point. It feels like you got run over by a rhinoceros. And looking around, the room you're in is pink, very pink. And the there are chairs kind of around the edge, but there is also a little operating tray in front of you where you can see syringes and scalpels and saws, that sort of thing. And as you maybe try and move a little, you realize that the starfish that Mr. Ed was referring to is a five-point restraint. Think kind of Hannibal Lecter in that. And Mr. Ed is sitting by the door, kind of in this shadow thing, just glaring at you. Uh, I take it I can't move at all. Um, yeah. Scream out. You <clears throat> kind of move, and he, he looks up and grins. Dr. Friend's going to be here for you, but I'm not going to tell him to hurry. Thanks, Rick. <laughs> and he sniffs and walks out the door and closes it. Well, now I'm going to try to wiggle out as much as I possibly can. But... Mm -hmm. And I'll need you to do a sanity roll because when he says he doesn't hurry, you're struggling for hours and you get a little bit of leeway <gasps> and you kind of like move wrong and then you lose lose it and then the hours turn into days and you're pretty sure into weeks so do a sanity check as just time passes in your okay. stuck I passed it but right pink room Roll a D4. And we're not, I'm not hungry. I don't have to go mm -hmm. to the bathroom. No, nope, oh, it's okay. sheer boredom and futility. Yeah. I'm going to try to, I got three. I'm going to try to pass that off, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, wonderful. It's just this long amount of time. And then finally the door opens again and you see, with his little goatee, Dr. Friend, enter, just kind of bustle into the room. Ah, yes, excellent. So good mm. to see you, Carson. But, uh, I'm how are you probably doing? just... Yeah. <laughs> it took your time. <laughs> uh, no, I came as soon I as I, I was told. I think I've been in here for ever. Weeks. Uh Yes, I know it can feel that way, and I'm glad you're keeping track of time once more. It's difficult to do here, but no worry. We'll get you all taken care of today and back out into uh, the population, eh? Please. Great. Uh, all right, I am just going to need you to hold very still and you see he kind of does this and he pulls out a syringe and he puts it near your eye and there's a movement and then you can see it starting to fill with this thick red liquid but it's not blood exactly it has a sort of movement to it as he draws it out of your skull. And finally, the needle comes back. You can feel there's a little tightness around that eye. And he looks at the syringe. Oh, Mr. Carson, the potsu is very... Well, it looks very potent. You'll excuse me. And he drops a little onto his tongue and goes... Yes, very good, Mr. Carson. Very good. And well, can, you let, 
get me out of this? Of course. Why wouldn't we? I will let an orderly do this. Um, I will be on my way. I I will send someone in shortly. Ah, oh, the patsu. So good. Thank you, Carson. Pats you out on the side and leaves through the door. And you, for that moment, yeah, there's that panic of Duck. how long yeah, right. in an orderly comes in pretty quickly and unrestrains you. Well, um, if I can pocket a um, a knife Ooh, or something, I, I will. I love it. <laughs> uh, go ahead and do a stealth, or if you've got uh, stealth or dexterity, I'll say just to well, kind of okay. swipe and- it. Oh, it's a 36. It's my stealth is 30, but my dex is is Yeah, I'll I'll 70. buy that. That's that's well within the uh the realm of swoop, you have a scalpel. I'll slip it's... that in my pocket and wander out and is yeah, my it... blood trail still there? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, you kind of look out there is a bit of a blood trail. Yeah, it's dry. Like it's been there for maybe weeks. There's probably some footprints in it, but it's it's there. I'll wander back the way I came. All right. The room you find is covered in a thick coating of dust. You can see the symbol on the floor. It looks like it's been there for quite a while. But to, on your way back, you do notice as well, there's a lot of other patients that you're realizing have kind of the same area of the face, a bruise there. Like maybe this is not the first person he's extracted from. Exactly. I'm just going to, I'm just starting yelling. Um, You know, dead. Diana, any, anyone. <clears throat> All right. And let's jump to Diana, I think, as she is looking around. Go ahead and do a search roll. Okay. Oh, wait, that's the wrong. Uh, I must have to die. Uh, oops. Sorry, I just forgot the. I, don't, I nearly rolled the wrong die for me. Oh, that that is three. Okay, there you go. Nope, nothing. Eighty-seven. Nothing. That's All right. nearly a fail, but good fail, but it is still a fail. Yeah, you're walking around and you are not having any luck, and you get into like a kind almost a fugue state, like when you're driving down a highway for a long time. You're looking room, 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 and you hear this shouting. It's Agent Donnelly shouting down the hallway, and it kind of snaps you out of it. How how long have you been wandering it? Where are you? You don't, you're not even sure you remember. Yeah. Um, do I look any different? Like, do I look like I've not eaten in days, weeks? Uh, do I feel quite hungry? Or... Well, no, you don't feel hungry, but you can't remember ever feeling hungry really not since you've been here and you look down at your shoes are definitely in pretty rough condition compared to where they were a little bit mm. yeah uh uh upon hearing uh donnelly's voice like in the distance i think that she would just snap out of it and turn towards a direction where she hopes she can pinpoint where it's coming from, given that she's been just walking down the hallway for God knows how long. Um, hopefully catch up with the boys. All right. Uh, speaking of the other two of the boys, Agent Dent, can you also give me a search role? Sure. Uh, I'm trying to actively map this place as well. 21 out of 50. All right. Good. Um. I will tell you that actively mapping it as you're tracing the blood, 
go ahead and make a sanity roll. Okay. As you realize you have taken left turns and not gone in a circle, you've done the architecture, the structure here makes no sense. Yeah, just one, but you're realizing it's extremely easy to get lost and very difficult to find anything in here. But you do see that there is a little hunched over man with unkempt hair and a little mustache that I believe you would recognize as Asa Darabandi. And he he's looking down at the floor at a little vent in the wall. What are you looking at? I I I lost my ring. My ring's in here. There was a woman inside. She said it was for her father. But I'm pretty sure it's mine. I'm pretty sure it's mine. I want it. Get it yourself, lazy fuck. Who are you to talk to? Men are becoming royalty. Asa, royalty. And a good day to you, indeed. And you can see his fingers kind of reaching into the vent and scrabbling for something on the other side. I'm going to bend down and look in the vent. There is a small ring there. Uh, looks like a gold wedding ring. Just sitting in the vent, just outside of his fingertips. Are my hands longer than his? Uh, You don't think it would be that tough to get the vent off the wall if you just pulled it off. Okay. I am going to pull the vent off the wall. Oh. Push him out of the way, and you give a strength check. Of course. Yeah. 59 out of 50. Fail. All right. Oh, no, that's a 30. Sorry. All right. 39. It comes off no problem. And you see there's a uh, kind of a crack in the wall that spreads up. It splits like the mint green paint. But you see the ring is right there within reach. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll grab it. Did you feel something brush your hand? <laughs> As you pull it back, you hear a whispered voice. Come and see. I'll, uh, I'll ignore that, but um, I'll look at the ring. Uh, it looks like a golden wedding ring, the kind of uh, generally the man would get. It doesn't have a diamond or anything in it. Finders keepers. Uh, that's I'm pretty sure it was meant for me oh but I have a I have a better use for it well I unless you're willing to trade of course I'll trade what do you what have do you to have? offer the ring the ring well, is I have the ring what are you going to give me I have these dreams, you see, in which I take care of troublesome heirs. And I happen to know that one of your friends has some troublesome heirs of her own. Her own? Yes. I could take care of them in my dreams. Is that something you want me to do? I'm going to need something tangible. What, what am I supposed to give you in this place? I oh. lost it all. Seems like a you problem. I don't like you very much. I'm going to start walking away. You have a daughter. 
I'll stop. And it would be a shame if someone thought that she was part of the lineage. Documentation is so easy to fake and confuse. I'm going to kick him in the face. Oh, it's not difficult. He's <laughs> he goes down. Blood is spewing out everywhere. Don't you ever talk about my daughter ever again. Uh, it, he's definitely got a broken nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit on him and walk away. And he's bleeding in the hallway, kind of whining to himself as you walk out. And you start to hear Agent Donnelly shouting. Okay. I'll make my way to his voice. And you find him in a dusty room. The circle has obviously aged, but appears to be intact. And yes, Diana, Donnelly, Dante. Or Dave. Guess what I got for us? Together. And I'll show the ring. I'll pull out a scalpel. <laughs> the sword! <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> we have the sword, which is a scalpel. We have the ring. We need <sighs> vessels for So really, all this stuff, it's all, it's all representative. So it's all symbolic. Exactly. So I don't think we need it all, do we? Yes. We need the wax figures next. So I was gonna get what's some... yeah, what's your occultism? I think Donnelly, you have a pretty high one, right? Oh, I think Dent beats me on yeah, mine's I only have 60. A 30. Yeah, mine is just 30 as well. I would say you are correct in that it is mostly representational, and you could take a shot at it right now. You could take a shot at it. Hell no. You're, you're already yeah, not gonna... super confident. You're making substitutions. Whenever that happens, it's a little worrying. But do you have what's the worst going to happen? We're stuck here, and it seems like eternally stuck here. I it's don't want to deal with any of the staff, nor the patients. I say we collect more substitutions. And every time we leave this room, it just time just goes by look at the dust i mean yeah i don't know how we long walk out walking. i enough. would be more comfortable if we found some way to make the mac the wax figures and if i got some paper for the scrolls written in blood there's like i don't know there's no toilet paper there's no there's no toilets there's nothing here <laughs> You think it's possible? Around. Is it possible to get to, into Doctor Foyne's office? He would have paper. Yeah, he would have maybe some things. It would be risky, but I think most likely he might have some things that could be substitutes. Don't you think? I think so. How about we try looking for his office? Why don't we try just thinking that we can go through this door into his office? You're welcome to try that, Donnelly. It's worked before when we've been in on the other side. The McAllister? Yeah, but yeah. this isn't the McAllister. Uh, it has a different it? set of rules, maybe. I don't know if it's a different set of rules, really. I mean, I'm getting the feeling that it's not. Then let's think about it. I'm ready did anyone about... see Asa? Yes. Asa's here. I mean, oh, is he? I met him. Uh, I actually got this ring from him, and there was from this vent. There was something strange about the vent. There was something living in the vent. I'm thinking Ace's buildings are all connected to either each other or this place. Like this is a hub, and maybe we can venture out into the other uh, the other buildings. We never yeah. really did get a chance to look into all of his architecture, all of his buildings. No, nope. shoulda, woulda, coulda. I did. know. I'm just gonna think about Dr. Freund's office to see yeah, if we can find a door. door. Yeah. So, I think we should right. stick together. Yes, yeah. Because uh, you look like great. hammered shit, Donnelly. <laughs> they yeah, sucked. This doctor came in and sucked something from my eye. Right here, 
Yeah, I could tell the bruise is. Does Diana have the same bruise? <sighs> no. No. Okay. Nor do you, if you're comparing. All right, go for it, Diana. Okay, what do I need to roll to see I can conjure or um, get a door? You can roll a search check. All right. Oh, 28. That is a All success. Right. You spend some time walking up and down the stairs and up and up and up. You're too many high at this point, but you're not going to let that bother you. But you do eventually find Dr. Friend's office, and you can see that it looks like Dr. Dallin's name on the name card has been kind of hastily removed and replaced with Dr. Friend. But I'd like to jump from there, as you do see it is key card locked. Uh, I'd like to jump to Agent Dust and Agent Dante as they led by Agent Dante, who knows Mr. Wilde quite well, uh, are led to his room. A simple cell. Same as yours. So As we're going, I'm like, so level with me, Dante. What can you tell me is going on? I know you've probably told me this a hundred times before, but I'd like well, to hear it again. We live in Dorchester House. Okay. We have always lived here. But Dorchester House is not just a building? This, all of this is Dorchester House. What about outside the windows? That's outside the windows. That's that's elsewhere. So there is an elsewhere. And 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 who is wild to you? What is wild? Well, he's my best friend. And you don't feel like you're trapped here. Where else? Trapped? Look, Bob, you can wander around these hallways or you can dream and wander around your delusions of Delta Green or what have you. Well, what's the difference? Are you any less trapped in your dreams than you are here? Well, yeah, there's a lot more to my dreams than there are to Dorchester House. I don't believe that's true. Well, we're here. Let's talk to your friend. And it's, you know you're here because, Dante, you hear a distinct <laughs> of a cat uh, clearly fighting someone. And then roughly a half second later, a string of swearing that uh, probably turns the air blue around you. This, we're here. Knock, knock. Don't open the door. Don't open the... And, of course, the door knocks open and this cat zooms past the two of you. Ah, son of a... Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Oh, hey, Bonds. And you can see he is covered mm -hmm. in cat scratches. I swear to God, I love that cat, but I'm going to kill him. All right, come on in. Come on in. Yeah. I think the cat feels the same way about you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm going to get the best in this. All right, come on in. Come on in. Come on. Ah, what can I do? Take a take a seat anywhere. <laughs> get it because <laughs> it's just the bed. Yeah, this guy yeah. gets it. He loves my jokes. <laughs> all right. All right. You're, you're still here. Did I not tell you to bring the rest of the... It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll cover it with you two. All right. What was that? Sorry. I... I... They they don't they, they they wandered off. Wild. Oh my god. I am going to need you to really run this operation that we're doing here. We do not have the leeway for ifs and buts and all that stuff. 
This needs to be a tight shift, Bonds. You got to remember what you right, came here for. Right. Right. Winkler, V Cell. No. Whitwer. 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 His Whitwer. name is Whitwer. This is our best chance. And I need you to focus. Right. Focus. Right. Focus. Bob, your your brain's pretty up there still, right? Yeah, as far as I know, this all seems like nuts to me, but... Awesome, you're still insane. This is great, this is gonna work. Okay, so here's the deal. Everybody here... Uh, let me... Hmm, how, how do I put this? This is a long way back. Royalty is a tricky thing, am I right? Royal. Right? Royalty. It's all... Everything is about royalty. The person who makes the shots, that's the person who has the money, the power, everything. That's the royalty, right? And who's Damn. the king? Sits on the throne. He's at the masquerade. He's there forever and that. ever. King in yellow. The king in yellow. This guy gets it. Thank God I don't have to keep explaining. He is the divine ruler. He transcends reality. We're all following. This is pretty easy. All of you, you're caught in a web, right? You're caught in this web of this king. He's, he's pulling the strings like some kind of puppet master. Right? All right. That, Great. That's starting to make sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And he's pulling you in and in and in towards him, right? Okay. Right. Yeah, because you're here. If he, if he didn't do that, you wouldn't be here in this shitty place we're at, right? Great. Awesome. So now here's the choices you got. You can struggle around forever. You can fight it and fight it. You can go find a way out of here back to your real world, and your own friends are going to kill you because they think you've gone crazy. Am I right? Okay. Yeah, okay. So what, do you mean, what do you mean, okay? You saw them bash, try to bash my brains out with a baseball bat. Yeah, Case well, point. you can sometimes be in the wing. All right, we please live. go on. Please go on. They speak the language of violence, but not the one of coercion. I don't know what to do, but I, I'm glad to hire you. The point is, he doesn't have to be the king. The king is the author. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Who's the author? The king in yellow. Right. But who's the author? The guy who wrote the book. Bingo. Who wrote the book? It's whoever writes the book. Am I right? right. Why does are it you... have to be the king? So are you suggesting that if one of us gets on the throne... Oh, no, not just anybody could do it. Are you kidding? Look at you. Up and down. Look at you. No, you you don't have it. You couldn't open the bottle if you tried. But I know okay. someone who can. And I I already talked. I talked to Asa. He's completely bad shit. He's useless to me. He's, He's already the architect. working. Yes. He won't do for me. I already tried hitching my horse to chest that... What does he call himself? Castain these days? Yeah, I tried hitching my horse to that. Didn't work out. Waste of time. Huge mistake. But then I thought, hey, why am I doing all the work? That's not how I work. I'm a repairer of reputations. And I said to myself, hey, I'm going to get myself a team. Nah, nah. Then he kind of gestures around at the empty space of the room. Mm -hmm. Wherever your teammates are. So you're like gonna help me put someone else on the throne right easy and then we can leave yeah sure all right so who do you want to put on the throne any points to liam no that makes no, not, total sense no i don't want to put liam on the throne my god liam why are you here to find wit Bingo, bingo, hot ta ta. There we go. What is this funny? Is this funny, Bob? I just feel like I'm in uh I took crazy pills or something. I don't um, know what you're talking about. So we're looking right. for Whitwer. You're looking for Whitwer. 
I mean, if you know somebody else that's royal, I guess they'll do too. But Whitward's easy. He's here. I, Dr. Friend's got him. We just got to get him out. I, I, I think I might have seen him. Oh, shit. On the other side. No, he's here. Well, he was. Yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him here. Traveling. Bob. Yeah, it's confusing. It doesn't. You're, you're thinking linearly. That's not okay. how this works. So how do we put Whitwer on the throne? Oh, that's the best part. You just got to follow what Abigail tells you to do. You'll get right there. No problem. Well, okay, some problems. You might not all make it, but you've you've got a good chance. And Abigail was the girl from the other building? Oh, yeah, you never met. Well, you probably did, but you probably didn't recognize it. Yeah, yeah. But that She's wasn't gone. Dorchester She went out to house. see McAllister building. To see. She was at McAllister. She went out to see. What would you like me to do? Because I would like to get out of here. Wonderful. Wait, wait, I've been listening. We got to find Whitworth. So we just search around for him. What do we do when we find him? Well, you get him out of here. And I will, as part of my deal, introduce you to Bale. Bale will get you out of here. Now, before you go running and going, hey, what a great idea. Let's go just talk to Bale ourselves. It doesn't work like that. You won't find him. And I won't let you find him. And Bale. you're not to trust him. You don't trust demons. Well, okay, some of the demons are okay. I'm, I got some deals worked out. But don't trust demons unless I say you can. B-A-A-L? B-A-E-L. Timmy. Timmy. Okay. Yeah, Tim Timothy Bale. Timmy. Timothy Bale is a demon. Yeah. And you've got demons. He's in kind of place. in charge, kinda. Yeah. He's here. Okay. Uh, uh, it makes total sense to go along with this. Great. Um, if you don't, I'll just, you know, destroy your family's lives. <laughs> it's not a joke. I will do that. I have that power. Just so we're clear, I know everything about you. All five of you. I will destroy everything to, well, to get my pie, to get my piece of the pie, my part of the throne. I will. You, you can go back to your life after this is done, but just so we're clear, I'm in charge. Mm -hmm. So, Dante, you and I are just going to go walk around looking for Whitwer? No, he's gotta find, uh, we, we got to find we got to find the rest of the of the team. Right. Okay, I have no idea where they are. Oh, they're by Dr. Friend's office, which is probably oh. where Whitwer is. Because Dr. Friend has been trying to uh, extract a lot of you-know-what from uh, our good friend here. I don't know what. Uh, don't worry about it. You'll get to it sometime. Cotton candy room. Yeah, this guy gets it. So, all right. Um, Dante, do you know where friend's office is? Of course I do. Follow me. Oh. All right. Nice to oh, meet if you. you. Yeah, of course. It's wonderful. We already met. Where's that stupid cat, though? Which way did it go? Can, uh, that can we? Can right. we? Um, can we talk just between you and me for a second? Me? Yeah, yeah, you. All right. Sure. Yeah, Dante, uh, give us a second. Wait for me out the, in the hall. Of course. Of course, of course. Keep an eye out for that cat. All right. What you so, got? So what is this? Are you some sort of a wizard, a sorcerer? No, I'm I'm a repairer of reputations. That's what I do. And uh, I'm you kind of caught up in this. You're you're but you you do this through magic? 
Oh, That's I don't true. know how I do it. See, sometimes I just want things to happen and they happen when I'm not paying attention. It's really cool. Okay, I highly so recommend you... it. All right. So, yeah, you seem to know more about me than I'm willing for other people to know. So, mm -hmm. you yeah, I know everything. Keep that between you and I. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. I'm just going to need you to do some favors. In fact, you're all going to end up doing me some favors beyond just this. But we'll get to that once you get to the ball. Other than freedom, what, what do I get out of it? Is there anything you can oh. improve my life with? Um, Yeah, I think so. Let's talk about your world right now. You've got a, a partner, right? Yeah. Yeah, your your friend uh Dale Crenshaw. Yeah. Um nice guy. Nice guy. I actually talked with him a little bit the other day. Love lovely person. Lovely. Absolutely. And you teach at the university and nobody needs to know about your little warehouse thing and all that. Well, I got bad news. Your world is done. You started digging into this. Uh, this is not like a two-way sort of thing where you just go stealthy. Once you get out, your lives are already ruined. You are dead in probably like four or five days, maybe. Maybe. Tops. So Is that because there's somebody looking for us? Is that because of... Delta Green, or... Come on, you saw them in your dreams. They're coming for you, first of all. And the farm's not safe? No. No, not at all. Did you... Why did you send the files there? Come on, man. That's that's a big mistake. But that's the, that's what this relationship is built on. You make mistakes and I profit. Is there but, a way out? Wonderful. I'm glad you asked. There is. If we get a new king that I maybe have the strings to, maybe can lean on, maybe we make a new world for you. A world where you're not on the run, about to die. Maybe there's a world where you make a lot of money. But I can't just do that by myself where I am. You, you need the authority. Yeah. Yeah. This guy hits it. And no matter how many times I try, I keep hitching my horse to the wrong carriage. Or is a carriage to the wrong horse? I forget. Well, I have, I get to get things done too. So well, I'll that's good. do my best. Wonderful. I'd hate to kill everybody you love. There's not very many of them. Yeah, that's means it's just easier for me. This was a good talk. I think my personal skills are improving. All right. See you later, Bob. <laughs> it kind of opens the door for you. Yeah, I'll go out where Dante is. All right, let's go figure this out. Let's find what we're... Let's find the others. And it just so happens... As Dante leads away, uh, muted, I'm afraid, maybe has something on the way. Yes, but, uh, I, yeah. I, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, I think we'll find them all at Dr. Friend's office, as Mr. Wilde said. Isn't he just such a guy? Mr. Well, Wilde? he knows. He knows everything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That puts us. Mm -hmm. What, what would you expect? Would you expect a repair of reputations not to know everything? I don't. It can't really be a repair of reputations means, but... if you don't. Uh, Bob, 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 Bob. Dude, I never read your book. And now look at you, all lost and confused. It's really your fault. Just lead the way. <laughs> and it doesn't take Do uh, Agent Dante very long at all to find Dr. Friend's office. It's just right around the corner. And you see three ne'er do wells. One of them looks kind of like smashed hamburger. The other two look like they got lost for a while. And uh, yeah, five of you meet. Well, 
It turns out you guys can do something useful on occasion. Why are you here? Look, I'm I'm the most confused person out of this whole thing, but Mr. Wild, uh, he knows how to get us out of here, but he says we got to find Whitwer and that we need all five of us. All right. Yeah, and Whitwer's through that door. What have you, what have you done since you've gotten here? So, so let me get this straight. Pay, 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 to, visit, to, pay to visit to the cotton candy Wilds. room. Um, when somebody can tell me everything about myself that nobody knows, uh, yeah, and he warns us not to fuck around with demons. So he knows what you guys are all doing, too. Well, I think that we should just try to find Whitwer, get him somehow placed on the throne, and we can go. You're going to compromise all your values off the word of someone who supposedly knows everything? There's, supposedly? There's, supposedly? There's not very... There, there's not oh, very I haven't seen it. Them. Have you even talked to him? No. Well, everything, uh, every, every one in here is not to be trusted. Well, I we, have. We I need agree to get that, out of but... here ourselves. What, what no, makes you think no, you can no, figure no, out you how? Can't. <laughs> the hubris, the hubris, and the ignorance. Uh, apparently, everything uh, here is Dorchester House. Can we just go in there and see if we can find Mister Whitwer? What do you want with Whitwer? Okay. Why put him on the That's, throne? I, I, why I why do you think why, why do you think Mr. Wilde brought you all into this? Why did you think he had me bring you all into this? Oh. So the way he said it yeah. to me was Oh the, the scalp is in my hand, by the way. There's <laughs> there's some sort of an entity called the King in Yellow that sits on the throne and that he's not there right now. And that if we can find a way to put Whitwer on the throne, then we can get out. And a new so world. It makes no sense to me, but maybe it does to you because you've been to Dorchester House. And you're going to just trust this? I, what else am throne, I supposed to do? World? You guys seem Jesus to be wandering Christ around us. just speaking nonsense. We're trying to find a way out of this ourselves. We huh. have a way out. I'm still confused on why does I'm why not the one who's burn? compromising my values. You're, you're compromising your values. You're Delta oh, Green. Oh. What values? Oh, your values. You'd murder Don't your best that. friend. Look look at that. The high morality of Agent Dent. His moral superiority. Someone shut this guy up. I'm Obviously just going to... have got more power than we do. Because look at this. And look at, look at, look at Agent Donnelly. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. this is the price that he has to pay. He doesn't have to pay it though. Oh, just just you, you want to you want to keep and, and... you want to keep you want to keep fighting. You want to keep bashing your head in the walls. I was kind of trying to open the door once. <laughs> we could do that a couple times again. I'm gonna go open. The I don't door. think he, I, don't I was think gonna he go open the door. <laughs> well, this is what's going. If on. I'm gonna go out, I'm not gonna go out some pawn. Exactly. And, and for the, do- the record, the door is locked. It has a wait, key card wait, wait, oh, yeah. wait, wait, you, next to it. You're right. not going to go out. You're not going to go out as a pawn. Uh, how do you think Delta Green perceives you? I'm going to grab Dante what? and throw him to the door and uh, just say, open it. Oh, I'm 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 sorry, Donnelly. You, you don't seem to listen, do you? Do I need to open the door with your head? That's Damn right, you're work, sorry. Or... You're a sorry excuse for a man, Dante. Oh. You don't know how happy that statement is. I want to go through me. this door. Look, you at, look at you friends. and your manliness. What are you what are you gonna accomplish Can with I your violence? Can I just kick the door down or taking so much time to just make have a, a man? Make a strength check, please. <laughs> I, I like it. Yeah, like all right, let's see. Oh, uh in the what is that? Oh, an eleven. Wow. Yeah. Um, 
you hear this arguing, you walk past Dante and it's a really, did you take Taekwondo or something? <laughs> because you kick it right around the lock and it just snaps open and slams into the other side. I stand corrected. Oss, Oss's architectural design. Well, Agent Diana's huge calf muscles. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go in. <laughs> no, 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 it's not the arguing will ever end. Let's just find what we need to find in that room you're, you're to get the beast, fuck out of Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Very much, yeah. Looking at the door, it's pretty thick. Like that was a hell of a kick to uh, to have opened that. That that could have been the same energy you use on Agent Dante's face. <laughs> Luckily, it's the door. Again, again, you guys seem to have the statisization of futility. <laughs> just, just, I, just shut up. The entire are going in. <laughs> We're going. As you walk into the room, those that have been here before recognize Doctor Dalen's office. It is a classic English study with a wooden floor and a stone fireplace. There is a small, thin writing desk, uh, which actually, now that you see it, seems more. Dr. Friend's size and the Dr. Dallin size, kind of sitting in the middle. There are shelves, uh, floor to ceiling on each wall filled with books, and a cabinet near the back that holds a large number of rocks uh, within in little little uh, velvet pedestal type things, like little things with little placards next to them. Rocks. Rocks. Yeah, I'm going to be naturally drawn over to the books and take a quick look. Okay. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Oh, I got Yeah, I'll look over the books too. Okay. Um, Dust, in lieu of a search, make a sanity roll because you are so used to this at this point that it almost jumps out at you. 97. Okay. It's only one, but as you're looking at the bookshelves, there's something odd. And you take a step back and you realize that there are a number of them that have been turned uh, so that their spine is inwards. And you can see the yellow pages, which across the full side of it, create this angular yellow sign in the bookshelves. Fuck. What is it with the yellow sign? (laughs) You ask so many... Cute, bizarre little questions. I'm I'm probably sitting sipping tea in a cafe somewhere, and this is all just fucking in my head because you showed me that stupid yellow sign. So you can be ready. Whatever. I'm walking away from the books. Okay. Well, if Whitworth isn't here, he might be in the uh, in the library. What's with the rocks? Yeah, that's what I was looking at, too. Okay. Because yeah. I looked at him before. Yeah, you go over, there is a <laughs> uh, a glass case there, uh, like glass front case. It's a, a nice wooden part for the rest of it. It looks like the rocks are just sitting behind this, and they're all labeled. Yeah. <clears throat> labeled how? Uh, like the type of rock they are. Minerals, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the... Uh, the like the scientific name underneath it. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, he was down in his forest or forays as the demon. Well, why don't we go through his desk? Yeah. Um, at least use some of his papers to be scrolls. Dante, obviously, but not here. Right. I, I, as I said, he might, he's probably in, in a, in Dr. Friend's library. Is there another door? Seeing an, uh-huh. another door around the place. Um, Dodley, make a... Uh, well, actually, you're you're right there. Uh, those who are looking at the rock. So you do notice down near the bottom, there is a rock that has fallen off of its pedestal. And what rock is it? Does it have a label? It's, it looks like it's a ruby. It, it's kind of fallen uh-huh. behind things. It's kind of difficult to see like can i move the cabinet you'd have to open the cabinet to yeah Yeah, i'll open it it. as you open it you set your hand on the knob and it feels 
kind of warm. And as you pull against it, it has almost a sinewy type feel. And you just hear this, oh, oh no. As the door creaks open and a bit of blood starts to leak from around the hinges. Dante, is, is, is what were the, the case? <laughs> no, the case is the case. Don't ask the idiot anything. He's nuts. Well, that's, that's, why, that's why he didn't ask you. <laughs> that's why I got the door open. <clears throat> uh, Woodver, is that you? Yeah. What the hell? And it, it's just doing this pained crying. It doesn't seem to be answering in the affirmative. Uh, they... put, put the, put the, put the put ruby the back pets? where it goes. Unless you want to whisper some sweet nothings into the case's ear. If everything is metaphor here, maybe that's his heart needs to go back on the pedestal. Well, I'll put it back on. Mm-hmm. And you feel as you pick it up, it is this ruby. It pulses in your hand. And you set it on the little spot. And everyone make a sanity roll as it you see this ruby start to beat, 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 beat. And the walls of the room expand. And it no longer has four. I it got... has five, then six, then seven. Increasing, increasing, and then it shunts back to <gasps> four. Uh, yeah, how'd everybody do? I got, I 60, I got 66. I passed failed. All right. Uh, I rolled four. a 97 again. All right. Uh, D4 for a normal failure. A critical failure is just four. Yep. Okay. I lost three. I'm still wait, doing wait. fine. Uh, uh, a normal uh, failure is a D4. If you okay. critically fail, it's a four total. I, zero, I, I rolled a zero four. I'm going to use the bond. How do, you, oh. how do you use a bond again? Uh... You just roll your D4, take it off the bond, take it off willpower, and then take it off sand damage. Yep. Okay. All right. I am one away from yeah. breaking point. So I got three, so one. Okay. Nice. I got to check. Breaking point. It's close. I'm going to use my bond as well. Yeah, I'm at the bond as much as possible. Yeah. <sighs> Something about this case as it cries and you hear this heartbeat. Maybe it sounds familiar. Maybe it's the heartbeat of someone you know. Maybe it's the a cry of pain from someone you know. And it makes you think of the pain you might have caused them. As a small avalanche of books on the bookshelf behind you collapses down across the floor. And you can see that there's more books behind them, but also a bit of an opening. As I said, he's probably in the library. Well, lead the way. But, but before we go, I'll go over to the case and kind of rub it and give it a kiss. Say, I'm sorry, Hilda. And then I'll go through the door, through the opening. Based on the reaction, I feel like Agent Dust should do a sanity roll, but we'll we'll include that in the previous one. I took four points of damage. Yeah, so. That's pretty that's pretty rough. And, and all right, the group starts to look into this, and you can see that what you took as a bookshelf is in fact a tunnel of books that leads further the ground is books the wall the ceiling it's all piled every once in a while a small pamphlet might drop but it leads further in like a, a cave <clears throat> into the dark i'm gonna run my I'm fingers walking. along the spines as i walk it starts yeah. moaning in orgasm. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> Diana's not touching anything. Just keeping her hand away <laughs> from the book that she's doing that. I'm and, uh, following. Yeah, it is getting very dark. 
is a problem. Well, we don't have any light sources. Gonna have to wish for one. Is this how it works? What do you mean, wish for one? Uh, I'm gonna go back a little and look for a flashlight in the desk. Okay. Uh, looking through it, I will say, uh, do a search roll. Built. All right. Uh, you do find a single flashlight. Is does it work? Does it turn on? You turn it, it on. Yeah, it works. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Yeah, you maybe have to hit it once just to to get the battery seated right. But okay. yeah, it'll it'll suck. It's a flashlight, but no battery. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll take the flashlight and uh, aim it down the corridor. Yeah, and you can see now that further on there looks to be some sort of there are actual ceilings back there you're catching like a little bit of gold leaf on sides of books and it looks damp right yeah exactly only way out's through like okay. damp with water or is it something we ended up you... coming out the butt end of this thing. <laughs> well, it's like a throat. It kind of does give you that impression, actually, as you're going. But as you get further, you do start to find more mahogany bookshelves, plaster ceilings, walkways uh, amongst these things. But it's all very, very badly water damaged and stained. And you can see in the ceiling, because you're looking around with this flashlight, there are metal tracks uh, set about that far apart, uh, side by side, running throughout the rooms. Like what you'd find in a hospital room with curtains that would run in the Yeah, that's Yeah, that's a good (laughs) example. But they seem longer, like they run all the way through the room. And, and yeah, you're you're kind of looking around and you can start to see that there's old food tins, empty bottles of alcohol, uh, even some burnt books arranged in little piles like somebody set fire to them at one point. Maybe for warmth. It's a little yeah. yeah, it's a little chilly. Someone was staying here. What were he's here somewhere? Yeah, what well, was is an interesting word. What if this is wet work? As in, we are inside in his throat, throat, I believe. As stuff, I don't like know. Every implied. nothing makes sense here, but it if it's all like metaphor. What if we're? What if Dorchester House is wet work? Wet work. Well, if everything's a metaphor, what what are you a metaphor for? Well, maybe we're the anomaly, we're the germs inside of what we're. I don't know. My mind is trying to know. find yeah. some meaning to it all, but it's it's I, nuts. I think it's best I, not I think, to find I a think meaning that's to your, it. Uh, I mean, nothing has a meaning. Well, metaphor. There's no meaning to be nuts. found anywhere. Just I'm yell searching out. for this guy. What, what, yeah. what, just what, yell what, out. Yeah. What, just what kind start of yelling out his walnut, name? Walnut, macadamia yeah. nut, my <laughs> pistachio. Start so, yelling. There's You're this underlying. Yeah, there's this underlying <laughs> macadamia, cashew, <laughs> peanut, <laughs> and louder than it, you hear Whitwer kind of echoing among the stacks. And as you get further, there does appear to be a little bit of light seeping in, but you can never really figure out where it's coming from. There's no windows or anything that gives you a good source. But make an alertness check, everyone. Almond, hazelnut. That is an 05 for alertness. I got 77. Oh, one. I missed it by I one point. 30, 31, <laughs> six regular success. 
Okay, I heard an O one. So those that fail don't see this, but Agent Dent, uh, the others catch a glimpse of it. You see it pause for just a moment in between a couple of bookshelves. It's small, maybe the size of a small dog. And at first, you kind of have to give a look at it because it's running around on four paws. Paws? That's not quite the right way to call pulped paper, which this thing seems to be made of. It's almost like a paper mache animal also, but it seems very wet. And when it looks at you, it opens its mouth, and you can see that, well, mouth is tough to say, uh, there's definitely a maw shape. Boy, those teeth look really sharp. Really, really sharp. But it keeps going. What the fuck is that? Yeah, roll sanity. Uh, pass, 30. All right, uh, just one. Breaking point. Wonderful. What did you see? Yeah, what did you see? Or we only got a glimpse of it, those who... Uh... I didn't see anything. Ah, uh, some Whatever. kind of animal made of paper mache. Be on your guards. Yeah, it might give you paper cuts or something. Yeah. So, is there any type of weapon that we could uh, look around on these? Do I get a new disorder? Uh, uh, you absolutely do, Agent Dent. We can. Uh figure out what exactly that is if you've got one but uh agent only uh, give a search roll you definitely saw like some bottles and things yeah um, yeah maybe take, in a club of some sort yeah take a take a look uh 33 yeah oh, that's very good um in that case you do find not only a club but you find a small box of matches there as well laying next to one of these fires oh yeah i'll grab that yeah and you can see it's a uh, matchbox for the hotel brattle bin it's got brattle a bin, fancy of course. Yeah. on it and it looks like it has a single uh match remaining try to pocket it and yeah and get back with the others it's it's wet in here, but don't forget it's all paper. Yeah. Exactly. Found a club, nice. Yeah. And if we yeah. do get paper cuts, what what would those be a metaphor for? <laughs> Bigger cuts. That's by a thousand cuts. Hmm. A very, very literal metaphor, I see. And is it fair that you continue on maybe keeping a better look out and yeah you start to notice this is taking hours at this point longer and longer and that light that you felt is starting to dim and it seems like the longer you take and the light dims that sound you heard following you is growing larger until you finally find an open area in which there is a man. It looks like asleep in the center of this kind of cleared out circular room. You do recognize him as Whitwer, although he looks quite a bit worse for the wear. And he's asleep? Yeah, it looks like he's at least doesn't react to the flashlight or the calling. Well, there uh, you go. Oh, maybe he can help get us out. Well, yeah, we got to take a try. back to uh, the repairer of reputation. Hell no. Let's see yes, what he has Mr. to say. Wild. Let's talk to him first. Walk over to him. See if we can we can wake him up or if he's any respond okay. if he's responsive. Is that yeah. like hello? No. Uh, and he starts awake like he was asleep and he looks up here. Uh and he grabs on to the, the arm. Oh my god. 
You're not Dr. Friend. You have to get me out of here. There's something in here with me. Like what? I don't know. It's huge. It hits hungry. Well, well, we'll, we'll get you out of here. I look over to you. Go. I'm going to see if the... Yeah. And, is there yeah, some... Don, uh, you can see. Yeah, he's got deep yeah. bruises. It looks like he's so definitely... He's been sucked on for a while. Yeah. Um. Yeah, do you have some dry paper around here? Um, how are you keeping... How have you kept the creature away? I don't... I think it listens to Dr. Friend. I think it... it, it follow, I don't know, but it's... It's like a tiger. It stalks and it waits until it's night when it's biggest. I've seen people come through here and it's not good. Well, let's go quickly. It did get it is getting darker. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, we're yeah. uh we're with D cell. We're gonna get you out of here. And he actively like breaks away. What? They sent what? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Your your D cell. Correct. Why did they send people in? Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. This is wrong. Well, we're trying to find a way to get out. I don't think there's a way out. Apparently the no, repair that's where you, have of go, you have to go talk to Mr. Wild. Mr. Wild. They're all crazy here. Yeah, oh, I agree. <laughs> I yeah. agree completely. Uh, what hopefully. do you remember? How'd you how'd you get in here? It's the fucking state police guy. Exeter? Uh, yes. Yeah. And he was compromised. He was acting yeah, he was obviously compromised. And we were helping him and he uh like we were looking at him. What did he, he want you to ambush do? us? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, he. What do you mean you don't know? I, I, I don't know he why he do? did. He wanted me to find a book. Yeah, this damn book. I don't but know. But he why. told us it's not really a book. What? He said it's 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 more than it's just. Not- yeah, it's not one book. It's not one thing. It's not one thing. It's. I I don't know. We never. It, we found it's a lot of metaphor, stuff, which we seem to be. Well, we fucking found the book. I I don't know about that. In it, did you notice that it corrupts everything it touches? We had What's it in our goddamn book? hotel room, and it burned through a Bible like that. Is it the it, king in but, yellow? Fucking, he's kind of looking at you like, again, this is the second bombshell drop. Like, yeah, it is. Did you read it? I just pointed uh, Agent uh, Dante. I think they've all read it. I haven't read it, but I unfortunately did see the cover. Look, we're going to work together. We're going to get out of here. Uh, come on. Uh, but we're uh, let's get you, let's get you out of no, here. No, 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 no. This is a this is a this is a Doctor Friend. This is a trick. You are tricking no. me right now. No, it's, no, it's it's not a it's not a trick. We have to get you to Mister Wild. No, we don't. We're gonna find our own way out of here. He has he has to take his right. I'm punching Dante the throne, in the face. Dent. <laughs> I'm gonna try to stop him from punching Dante. Can I just carry Whitworth out while this is going? Um, <laughs> you're by far strong enough to right. do that. You just <laughs> kick in doors. <laughs> All right. I, I actually like that idea of there starts to be this tussle. Uh, Donnelly, what are you doing as? I was looking for weapons. I'm looking for more weapons. You've they got a scalpel and a deal. club. Do, so. do another search around the area. Yeah, I like that a lot. Kind of attract the attention of the tiger. Oh, it's a 12. Yeah. It's okay. a, it's so, a it's a blank okay. poem. Tiger, tiger. <laughs> um, let's see. What do you what do you find there? Um, you definitely find a weapon of some kind. We'll say you find a rusty old 
uh, sword, actually. Oh. It looks like the kind you would hang up on a mantelpiece. In fact, it's got a couple little, like, holder notches where you think it would last, but even though it's rusty, it's got enough Solid enough. You, yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty... Oh, that's good. It's a sword. We can use that. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're catching... and But mm -hmm. maybe uh, make a torch out of, you know, ripping some of my Everything's clothing. To... Yeah, there are some dry books here and then, and there. Yeah. I don't, yeah, don't want Bundle to. up the books, rip some of my clothing to make, you know, a rope type and just start wrapping it around the club or a stick or something that we can find. Yeah. And, and, and then and you're, can... yeah, you're kind of looking around, you're finding these things and you look up and agent Diana, like you're able to get, are you just leaving <clears throat> the other four? How far are you? I, I'm, I'm, it's just more of, uh, if I'm able, if I need to roll, uh, I, he, she is going to carry like what we're on, on her back. Okay. And and then just start walking and uh, okay, because yeah, do she's a, do a strength yeah. roll yeah. yeah. Ooh no, I I guess all that uh, eighty five. I may I might be struggling or okay. just slowing down. Yeah, yeah, you're you get him. He's really in no condition to fight. Um, as you pick him up, he feels kind of empty in a strange way. Like he weighs less than he probably should, and. He goes over the shoulder, but he's struggling. If, no, you won't take me. They'll, they'll kill me. No. They'll kill me. They'll kill you. You're all insane. You're all insane. Not yet. Sanity and in it's it's such it's a construct. Don't you understand? I don't think that? you have time to monologue Where... if you're getting punched in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, Diana, Agent Dante, always has time to monologue. Agent <laughs> hey, Diana. <laughs> It's just trying to get Whitworth away from distress because obviously it is it is not making this any better. So she's trying to ignore everything, not talking to them, seeing that they're in a tussle. So she's going to help him, assist them to walk away and okay. deal with whatever whatever creature is going to come out. So uh, she'll worry about that one that one that happens. Mm -hmm. And you're struggling with him. He He does seem... He seems like he might. I mean, he's going to come along with you one way or the other. But I he quiets. Yeah, yeah, he quiets down. Yeah, he. she's basically going on her, like, it's part of her job. She has to deal with people trying to get away from safety. So um, her her day, her uh, her daily job. And if it if it helps, I have 70 int um, okay. in human int. Um, Basically, she's um, okay. Yeah, that's her. very good. Yeah, no, that's very good. You are getting then the key signatures of he seems like he is under deep stress, but he seems sane, if that makes sense. Like his reaction here is that of an agent who just saw five people walk in, claim they were Delta Green, read a tome that they shouldn't have read, and started fighting among themselves. He's deeply concerned uh, with this is kind of the look like he doesn't there's nothing in him that feels safe right now. If well, reading that, Diana will tell him, like, if if anything, you can trust me. I don't deal with the book. We are all we are all under lots of stress. We'll get you out of here. I'm just glad that we found you. Just let's focus on this getting you out of here getting all of us out of here okay everything will be okay i, I promise what everything will be all right okay Just deep breaths uh, we'll, we'll get out of here and he looks like he's about to agree as he looks back at the other four and that's when you kind of realize amongst the four of you you've argued quite a bit it got heated maybe a glancing punch was thrown well, I tried to hold Yeah, you, you, there's some fight. Yeah, there's some fight. He's here. holding me back. <laughs> yep. Hold me back. Hold me back. And you hear the distinct crack of a book spine being broken behind you. And the flashlight looks back and looks up at this wet, papery face. Ma? There's a lot of rusty metal glass 
just a lot of sharp stuff in this face. And uh, what's everybody's dexterity? 50. 45. I got 60. 70. 50. Uh, Dent is at 50. I heard 60 for Diana. Yep. And 75 for Donnelly. 70. 70. 70. 70. I'm I'm going to give you some extra points. Uh, And let me just check a little something. I'm sure this thing isn't that fast. I'm sure it's not as I scroll and scroll and scroll. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, It's very, very fast. Um, (laughs) Go ahead and the four of you there roll luck. You want to be better than everyone else. Oh, one. 42. You 69. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is there any point in even saying what I rolled when he rolled a one? Oh, it does. You're not. This is 14. an outrun the bear situation. Um, Don Lee, I think I heard a 69. 69. Not <laughs> nice. nice. Not nice <laughs> at all. As this thing just jumps forward and tries to maul you with these massive claws would you like to dodge oh yeah i'll dodge uh, let me see 36 i dodge you did but you did not dodge better than a 54 under 55 no oh dear um, I don't think I need to know your hit points <laughs> as you see Don Lee. Mm, boy, we'll say you drop the things you were holding. You had the kind of this torch, but this maw just closes down onto Don Lee and you see a spurt of blood mixing with this pulpy paper and these back legs kind of kicking out from there. Uh, and I will, let's do a sanity check from everybody. 94. 93. 17. Uh, does Diana need to roll or I'm just Uh, Yeah, you away? see it. You see it. Is it is it the dab to violence still or it's just... Uh... No, this is unnatural as hell. Okay. Paper shouldn't move this way. Oh, I failed. So how much would that be? Uh, D8 for failure. Got it. And a one for success. This is a mix of kind of the unnatural, the violent, and now I, I feel like eight. you've. I rolled a five. Okay. Can okay. I use a bond for that? I Maybe. rolled a five. I'm also going to try and use bond. And that would be roll a d8 again? Or... Uh, two, d4. 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 Oh, it's always okay. a d4 to Thank offset you. it. Uh, Dante, are you uh, going two. to try an offset to a bond? I oh, hate doctors that. now. Okay, yeah, great, 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 great. So that would be three. So I rolled a two on the D, D4, so okay. okay. Yeah. Keep track of that uh, sanity loss as a reminder, but it's it's, it's a good it's, number to know. Don't you think it's a rules go. question. When do, you, when do you hit a breaking point, <laughs> you, just, you just bust all the way through it and keep going yep. down? Yep, yeah. you reset yep. it again at uh, your previous breaking point minus your power. Minus. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. I only hit two breaking points and one. Ooh. Uh, but we will be skipping the temporary insanity for the moment. And uh, we are now skipping Donley and going to Diana. Yeah. Um, uh, I have Whitworth with me. You do. Yeah, uh, seeing that she's, I, I know that uh, Whitwer is going to be uh, dead weight, right? Um, yeah, but he's not that heavy. Oh, and uh, uh, he critically succeeded his sanity roll. He's patting you on the shoulder and going, "Go, go, 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 go." Yeah, yeah, we're 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 going. Like I'm I'm following his his uh like just go. We're I'm, we're gonna book it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's actually pointing you directions to go. 
and it maybe it's just his instinct but yeah you're you almost immediately are seeing the tunnel you entered in through dent what are you doing tripping dante tripping dante you heard me all right make a uh make a uh brawl roll of some kind <laughs> okay. dante would you like to dodge <laughs> been a long time coming i would love to dodge i got no four so oh boy it's I got, pretty I easy got, to beat i got an 06 <laughs> oh so oh. you did beat that yep yep oh, damn it. <laughs> so dante how do you dodge so, 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 this <laughs> well so basically dan is trying to trying to trip me up but i'm just basically just like leap over him in a sense like he tries to get in the way and i just yep Start off after yeah, I'm, I'm the So now, okay. Oh, but you yeah. you were trying to trick me though. So you're you did. you're behind. Yeah, my I friend. mean, you are in action, my friend. Yeah. I am. Yep. And Dante, you're just booking it. It sounds like. Yep. Yes. All right, Dust. It is after you. Well, um, yep. when it grabbed uh, Donald, he said that he dropped his stuff. Yeah. Uh, what a club, a makeshift toy. He had a he had a, yeah, sword, a sword and he, yeah. a sword. He had a yeah. sword. I'm gonna grab the sword and the matchbook as I turn to run out the door. So well, I'm, that okay. makes you last because <laughs> I'm last. Oh no, you two are both last. You did it. Oh, I guess it's a luck ran. roll. It is a luck roll between the two of you. <laughs> All right, you want us to roll that now? Uh, please do, as right. this so thing between... is. Between dust and dint. 40. Got a 26. All right. Dust. This thing just, you actually feel a bit of Donley hit you as its mouth tries to close over you. Would you like to dodge? Yes. Dodge good. Oh, uh, fail. Take seven damage as this thing's teeth rake over your body. And you can feel in the shoulder where the lion had got you before. It kind of splits along that wound and reopens Ouch. it. Yeah, it's okay. uh, it's pretty painful, but it doesn't get a good hold of you. Is is there like a, like in Call of Cthulhu, uh, mm -hmm. If I get so many points, I take a major wound. Two is unconscious. Yep. If you're down to two, you're unconscious. I, I'm unconscious. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. But I'm Dust. unconscious on the floor with the sword in my hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Dent? Uh... Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Skip Diana. Diana, you are, you see the end of the tunnel. You're hearing probably screaming behind you. Yeah, she's, she's ignored as she's running, uh, especially seeing how Donnelly is uh, mauled. Uh, she's following uh, Whitworth's directions to get out of here. She's more focused, at least getting him out since he's the most, she's, she's, he's the one we're looking for. So, okay. Being, being his guard at this point excellent yeah you kind of skid out of the library you maybe slide a book across the wooden floor but you are out you can see the hallway in front of you um dent you're Old you friend. are basically right next to dust when he yeah got hit yeah i'm, so, yeah. I'm getting out of there okay yeah you're you're basically getting to the tunnel at this point uh dante yeah, I'm, I'm I'm getting out of here. Okay, right right into the room, right after Whitwer and Diana. You can see. The okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna also go take the little ruby out of the case. Okay, you're running up to that to do. Um, dust. I'm unconscious. Oh, you are unconscious on the floor. In front you of maybe the yeah, as you kind Tiger. of fade out, you hear this dud dud dud. Dud. It seems to pass you by. Dent, you're not quite out yet. All right, 
It's a dodge. Make a dodge. Oh okay. I'd recommend you succeed and succeed well. Oh, I hope so. Oh, God. 43 out of 40, I failed. Oh, you failed. Yes. Um, does 15 damage kill you? Yes, it does. All right. There is a another bloody scream from behind in the library. Is Diana and Dante, you crash into the office and grab the ruby out of the case. You hear this kind of scream of pain. And do you keep running? Where where are you yep. headed? Yeah. Um we're running. Um, I'm Oh, my follow me. I'm trying to lead it the wild. I I'm actually more cons- like wondering where wild uh or Whitwer is directing us. Uh Whitwer is mostly just happy. He's like, uh, uh yeah, yeah, fine. Fucking wild. Go, 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 go. And the two of you escape into the Dorchester house proper. And we'll go back to the library before we finish for the night. And uh, Agent Dust, you eventually wake up. It's tough to tell how long it's been. Your shoulder hurts like nothing you've ever felt before. You're in the dark and you feel this drip of the ceiling above you on there there's a little bit of light and you just hear the squishing of footsteps on these ruined books you you hear oh no it appears that my little pet has found some new toys to play with that's all right Dr. Friend will make you all better. And that's where we'll cut for tonight. Very surreal. Very creepy. Indeed. (laughs) So now you've met a paper tiger and a mechanical lion. Next we'll meet a jello elephant. (laughs) Our players included Morgan Llewellyn, Alex Sun, Nell Hipple, Thomas Grooms, and myself with Nathan Decker as the handler. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members. You can set up private games. You can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you would like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayley, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Delta Green role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming. Good gaming.